Hi guys, it's Andy from Vividing Tattoo Studios and these are my 10 personal favorite tattoos done across all of the Vividing Studios in the month of August. Okay, we're gonna start with a bang and first up is this piece by Stefan over at Vividing Mosley. Stefan is an incredible realism artist and this is just a great example of it. It's a Cleopatra piece and you've got the Cleopatra face in the middle, you've got the skull at the top. I love how the triangle cuts into it. And then at the bottom, you've got like the statue where there's a real close up on the eye as well. Really, really well put together tattoo from a design perspective, but it's executed even better. It's tattooing at its finest. Changing styles completely, and this is by Paddy over at Vividing Derby. It says bad vision, and that's what it causes for me. So you've got like this 3D element. It's really, really trippy on the eyes. It's a really well put together design, really unique. You don't see this kind of thing very often. It's a good job you don't see this very often because it does mess with your head a little bit but it's really cool and that is why it's made the list. Evan over at Riveting Wolverhampton does an amazing job with this back piece. I love the design of it. So yeah, I love how the snakes intertwine with each other and the, the heads end up looking together. I love the simplicity of the line work. So it's creating this sun effect in the background. It looks really, really cool. It's a really well done design. I love its placement and that is why it's on the list. Alice over at Riveting Starbridge does an incredible job with this raven piece. It's done in a neo-traditional style, but in black and gray. So I really like that. Uh, I like the smoothness to the shading. Uh, I like the little highlights in, in all the feathers with a bit of white as well. It really makes it pop. And this is actually also a cover-up as well, which makes it even more impressive. It's a good reference for a cover-up, but she's still done an incredible job taking this design and making it completely flawless and you'd never know that it was a cover-up. Really, really well executed tattoo. Switching over to realism, and this is a piece by Sousa over at Vividing Shirley. What I love about this is the contrast in it and the, the smaller elements as well as the bigger elements. So you've got the face, which is the main focal point. Uh, it's a really well executed portrait of the Joker. But then underneath that, you've got like the, the silhouette of him dancing. Uh, you've got the, the white highlights in the ha 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 laughter kind of thing which looks really, really cool. And just generally when you put those together and the placement of it, it forms an incredible tattoo. Well done to Sousa for this piece. It is incredible. Again, a complete flip on styles and we're over with Chloe at Vivid Ink Litchfield. She's done this floral piece on the upper thigh. It's a brilliant placement for the tattoo and the way it's executed is incredibly good. So what I really love about this is number one, the placement, as I just mentioned, but also the technique that's gone into it. All the dot work is really, really, really smooth. Uh, all the shading is also really smooth. The line work is solid and crisp and it just flows with the contours of the body really well. They're all individual elements, which if you do them separately is really good, but the way she's tied all of that together is really impressive. And that is what it makes the list. This is a piece by Julia over at Vivian in Worcester. It is a deer school predominantly, so that's the big foreground piece. But what I really love about this is how it blends in loads of like botanical style things. So you've got the mushrooms, you've got the leaves, you've got the ferns, uh, and all of that fits in together really well with the overall theme, which is like the, the botanical deer school theme. Uh, the way it's executed is really good as well. All the dot work's perfect, all the shading is great. Uh, it flows really, really well with the body, uh, as all good tattoos do. And uh, yeah, that's what's on the list. This is micro realism tattooing and it's done by Paulina over at Vivid in Birmingham. These are a pair of ruby slippers and the way she's done this is incredibly good. So they are really, really small, which is what micro realism is, but they still look realistic. And to do that is incredibly hard and she's done a great job with that. The placement of them is really well. They fold into the other tattoos that are on really good. And for me, even though these are small, they're really, really impactful. And that is why I wanted to include them on this list. This is a piece done by Adrian over at Vivian Coventry and it's a floral piece first and foremost. So you've got the lotus flower at the bottom and then the daffodil. But what I really love about it is how he's also combined a geometric element to it as well. So the daffodil uh, is inside this circle and then the lotus flower is inside like a triangle shape. Sounds a little bit mental, but when you put them together, it flows really, really well and it creates a really, really unique piece. Uh, and that is what I love about this. Okay, around now, the list is this piece by Joe over at Vivian Sutton, and it's a special one. So this is Winnie the Pooh holding a balloon, but it's done to look like it's golden, which it literally does look like it's golden. And the thing with doing gold tattoos is it's really hard because you don't just choose gold as a color like you would with a blue or a red or you know any other color, for example. Gold is a combination of loads of colors. It's yellows, oranges, browns, whites, all these things mixed together. So to be able to have that skill set to take all of those colors and mix it to look actually gold is incredibly impressive. So well done to Joe for doing that. You've done a phenomenal job and to the customer family, a brilliant idea as well. So there you go, my 10 personal favorite tattoos done across all of the Vivian Studios in the month of August. Again, as always, this is like really, really hard to do. So many incredible tattoos are done on a day-to-day -day basis at Vivid Inc. It gets really hard to narrow them down to 10, but those are my personal 10 favorites this month. Let us know which ones you like in the comments and I'll see you next month.